Mitchell. A heck of a meet going so far for Mitchell Nelson. A lot of them will take it race by race. Start off the shuttle hurdle relay. You anchored that. You had a good lead. Take us through that race. Uh, yeah, Jake got out early lead right away, and then Nolan just extends it, and Tyler holds it or extends it. So I don't have much to worry about when I get my leg going. And we were just, we came in, we had like five seconds ahead of the second place time. So we just knew nobody, nobody false start. Just do our thing, we'll be fine. So, you know, we can't, we either said go pretty late at the brake line or when Tyler said go, I hesitated just, just a hair, just to make sure we didn't false start or do anything silly and not get in there where we should at state. And we still ran a pretty, Good time, one flat three, I believe it was. So that was up there with our, one of our best times. So we're very happy with that. You have gotten under a minute in that this year. What's uh, How low do you think you can go? Uh, we like to crack uh, 59.5, get, get into that low 59 range this year. And we always seem to knock a couple tenths per runner off when we get to state. So we think it's very possible. We're excited to get down there and do it. What would be some of the top competition at state there? Uh, I know Wapsie Valley just posted last week a minute flat 77, and then I believe I can't remember who it is. Somebody else has a minute flat 0.89 or something in there. So there will be there'll be a close race. Coach Reboff has mentioned that you guys may check quick stats quite a bit on that shuttle hurdle. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. We look. We're always looking at other times, see what, our, what everybody else happened to do on a particular night. And I know Reboff plays a little game with the other coaches. He waits until they put their time in and. <laughs> I know one time this earlier this season we we had to run a minute flat nine or minute flat seven or something. And somebody else put a minute flat something better than us by three tenths or something. But that was the night we had run a 59.8. So then Rebound put it in just two seconds after they he saw theirs in there. So he liked to play mess with them a little bit. I think on quick stats. How about the 110 highs for you? I think it was a 14.86. Is that right? 96. 14.96 and take us through your race. Yeah, I got out of the box first one, first hurdle. Like, I'm, I'm, I think I usually am. Uh, people off in Clark say I need to get a faster start, but I don't know how I could. But <laughs> anyway, I uh, felt pretty smooth all the way down and got to the eighth or ninth hurdle and didn't hear anybody around. So I was just, you know, happy finally got that race over with. Coming in shuttle and highs are probably what I was a little leery of, I guess, because those are the two we're supposed to do the best in, I guess, and didn't want to do anything silly and mess that up. So. Happy to get through both of those successfully. All right, how much are you thinking about seeding for state when you're on that, or you just run to win? I just ran to win that tonight just to make sure I get in. I'll worry about seeding, I guess, when we get down there. Wor worry about where I am in the finals, probably, but I ain't too worried about what lane. The hurdles are the same height, the same distance. So. First call for the girls. How about your goals at state in the 110 race? Uh, I definitely want to win that if I could, I guess. Uh, I'd be happy with the silver, though, too. The 400 meter lows, how was your time there? Oh, that was personal best, uh, 55.85, so that's even more ahead of the school record than I was previously, so that was great to see tonight. And I was still drinking water and dying a little bit after that one. That took a lot out of me, but yeah, I was very happy with that race. I was, I was focused tonight on clearing the hurdles lower all the way around because usually I'm low for the first five, and then I start getting a little winded. I clear them higher over the last half of the race, but I just worked on you know, putting my shoulders and my head down just like I do in the shuttle and clearing them lower. And, you know, knocked a few tenths off my time with that, so I'm very happy there. Do you have as much experience in the 400 lows as you do the shuttle and the 110 highs? Uh, no, not so much. I didn't run those. I ran them a couple times freshman year, a couple times sophomore year, but not consistently until this year, I guess. And last year I only ran it three times, including state. So this year definitely got more experience, but, yeah, not as much as the highs in the last three years. The race is a killer. How do you like it? Yeah, it's we. Everybody agrees it's probably one of the worst races there is for the hurdles. So, but I I like a little pain, I guess, and it's any hurdle I like. So I don't run an open anything. Just I feel goofy out there. I gotta have something to jump over. Four by one coming up. What are the team goals here tonight for that? Yeah, we want to definitely win that and get in. Uh, I think we're looking to get in the cracking the 45, 44s. I believe is because we're running low 45s right now. If I'm not mistaken, there, but. Yeah, but as long as we win and get in, then we'll worry about qualifying for finals down there at State. It's been a heck of a senior year for you and a heck of a career that's getting close to a finish now. Have you taken time to enjoy it more this year, or how focused are you, I guess, during your senior year here? 
Yeah, I'm not enjoying it too much more than any other year. I like I enjoyed it every year, I think. But yeah, definitely this year, looking back on you know the list of stuff that I've done, it's, it's definitely makes me feel pretty good about the last four years here. And if I get if I get this fourth event in, I'll definitely be very satisfied with overall. The team has led the points throughout most of the night. Is that pretty? I guess that hasn't necessarily been the case for you as an underclassman, but maybe the last couple of years more team points. Was that what you yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a big thing because we get you know the guys that don't win the races, but they get you know they're getting seventh, and eighth, getting the team points in there. That gets them a little more involved in the celebration after the meets and stuff. You know, and we take that team victory lap, and it's it's definitely great to make it. A, a team sport because it is a lot of individual work out there but making it a team sport is really fun as well and I know Reboff when he put together this meet he was definitely focused on winning the team sport. It's been good catching up with you. Good luck in the 4 by one here at State next week. Thanks. Thank you.